Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this Inform Player Review with me, your boy FIFA One HD. As you can see, we're going to be reviewing Inform Akadi and his 80 rated card. But before we do, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button, hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. And if you have any questions on Akadi or FIFA 16 in general, leave them in the comments below. I am always happy to answer them. So, Inform Akadi. Let's have a look at those stats. As you can see, 89 attack positioning and 95 jumping really do jump out at you. Those are crazy good stats. He's got some really high 70s and 80s there, as you can see, which are very, very nice throughout there. Would be nice if his sprint speed was a little bit higher, but it's not too bad, as I will come to later in the video. Ball control also quite nice, but finishing, heading accuracy, those are the standout areas. You know, short passing, not too bad. Shot power, very nice as well. And volley is not too bad either. We move on, we see four-star weak foot, very, very good. Skill moves could be better, but it doesn't really matter. And the medium-low work rates, which I'm not a fan of particularly, but don't seem to impact him as much as they do other players, mainly because his attack positioning is so good, so he's always in good areas. He also comes with a poacher speciality, which is something I really did notice. And the power header trait, which was very, very effective, going along with his jumping and aerial skills. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on Inform Akadi were that he was a very, very good player. I really enjoyed using him, and while his stats on the base card don't scream like super overpowered in certain areas, he was so good just consistently. You know, his pace isn't amazing nor is he shooting but they're both very very usable and very effective same with his dribbling it, it doesn't set the world on fire you know especially the fact that he's only got two star skills but it's usable same with his physicality but you know going into them in a more in-depth area his physicality was really really good hold up play very nice indeed now he's not the tallest in the world but his jumping is so good, his head and accuracy, his power in the air is incredible. So, so good in that respect. So definitely get balls into him, you know, play it up to him from goal kicks, etc. You know, he's going to be able to play others in, hold the ball up well, and just give you a focal point to get you higher up the pitch. Brilliant for counter-attacking, you know, when you haven't got many players up there and you just need that one or two seconds just to hold the ball up and then, you know, moving it onto a quick winger or a mid midfield player or something like that, you know, he is perfect for that. And when he's in the box, his shooting is fantastic. He swiveled on the ball so well, scoring off-balance shots that I really didn't expect him to score. You know, finishing one-on-one -on -one is also very, very good. His weak foot felt amazing. Four-star weak foot is always very nice on any card. Long shots aren't fantastic, but I think his shot power and his good finishing overall does make up for that a little bit. Although, you know, it was something that, you know, if you're quite far out, I wouldn't really try it. Definitely get him in the box because that is where he's most effective. Passing was okay. Defending, wouldn't even worry about it, to be honest. Obviously, he has got that physicality, but he just doesn't have that tackling sort of thing. So I wouldn't bother playing him at Cam or, or Central Midfield or even really CF. Mate, you know, he could play centre forward, uh, but I think striker is a really good role for him, especially in maybe like a front three with some uh, quick wingers or in like a 4-2-3-1. That's what I played him in, and he worked very, very well indeed. His dribbling and pace very similar in terms of they're quite good they're usable but nothing to brag home about you know we would like them to be increased of course if you're nitpicking but overall he's very very effective he scored me a lot of goals he played well he got assists for other people and when you play one up front i think he's the perfect striker to do that so i would definitely advise him i gave him nine out of ten because i thought yeah there's a few things that i would like to be improved but did he play well for me yeah so he's good you know, he did everything I needed him. Very, very impressed with Inform Akadi. So definitely go out and buy him. I'd recommend playing him as a striker. He's quite cheap. I expect his price to stick around sort of 30k. I think that's very good value for money. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And peace.